you can use the virtual audio cable to bring your audio from OBS Studio into other applications. But it doesn't always work. So in this video, we're going to troubleshoot the virtual audio cable. The other application could be a video conferencing software. We're going to use Zoom as an example. It could be a web-based live streaming studio like Melon or StreamYard or really any other application that uses a microphone. Make sure that you have downloaded the virtual audio cable with the link in the description below the video. Problem number one is that the other party can't hear you. And there are two solutions for this. Let's start in OBS Studio. I'm going to go into the settings in the bottom right hand corner here. And then I'm going to go into audio on the left. And this is the easiest way to set this up in OBS Studio. Just go into this monitoring device option here and select the virtual audio cable and click OK. Now go into your advanced audio settings and select the audio sources that you want to monitor. I'm going to pick this one here with monitor and output. Now the audio from my microphone is being sent into the virtual audio cable. So that's OBS configured correctly. Now let's jump over to Zoom. The second reason why the other party may not be able to hear you is that you haven't selected the virtual audio cable in Zoom. So let's go into the little arrow right there and make sure that the cable has been selected. Now my audio from OBS Studio is correctly captured in Zoom and I can even see it down here by looking at the little audio indicator for an even better look. I'm going to click the little arrow then go into audio settings and you can see that the audio is coming through nicely here. Problem number two is that you can no longer hear yourself in OBS Studio. But in fact, with this configuration, you are not supposed to be able to hear yourself in OBS Studio because we are using the monitoring function, which you would usually use to hear your own audio. And we're using that to send the audio to the virtual audio cable. You are not supposed to be hearing yourself with this configuration. But don't worry, the other party that you're talking to in your Zoom meeting is still hearing you just fine. Problem number three with the virtual audio cable is that the other party is hearing you twice or they hear an echo in your voice. This, this is, is a demonstration, demonstration of the, the problem, problem recorded, recorded in Zoom. Zoom. Now, now we, we are, are hearing, hearing the, the audio, audio signal, signal twice. twice. One reason why the other party may be hearing an echo is that you're actually sending the audio from OBS twice to the virtual audio cable. Let me illustrate this by going into my microphone settings and then into my filters. Here you will see a second way of configuring the virtual audio cable and that is using this filter right here, the audio monitor filter. This is actually the method that I prefer because it allows me to add an audio delay as you can see right there, 100 milliseconds. Here the problem is that we are sending the signal once with the normal monitoring function and a second time with the filter. This, this is, is a demonstration, demonstration of, of the echo, echo effect. effect. The, the audio, audio is coming, coming through once, once with, with the monitoring, monitoring function, function and, and a second time, time with, with the filter. filter. Here the solution is simple. Go back into your settings in OBS Studio, go into audio and then make sure that the audio cable is not selected. Here we are in Zoom and now the audio is only coming through the audio monitor filter with that 100 millisecond delay that we configured. And the reason why I like to have the 100 millisecond delay is that usually my video is approximately 100 milliseconds delayed. I'm going to share a bonus tip about audio quality in just a moment. If you want to share slides like this, you can switch quickly between your slides but you can also switch layouts. For example, you can put your camera in the corner, quickly remove it, then bring it back and then also bring back the slides. If you want to copy this setup, just go to marcuspresents.com slash OBS or use the link below the video. And here's the bonus tip about processing of your audio. If I go into my audio filters here on my microphone, you can see that I have noise suppression activated. Let's switch over to Zoom. But Zoom also has its own noise suppression filter and it's usually enabled by default. Let me go into the settings and show you. Typically, what people do is that they have selected automatic here under suppress background noise. 
but here's my recommendation. Check this box right here, show in meeting option to enable original sound. As you can see, I have already enabled that, and that allows me to use the original sound from OBS Studio. You can actually see it there, original sound on right there. If I do want to use Zoom as a noise suppression, I can just click on right there, and now the original sound is off, meaning that Zoom is processing the audio but I don't think that's necessary. That's why I like to have original sound as it's coming through from OBS turned on here in Zoom. For more great tips on how to use OBS Studio for video conferencing, click or tap the screen right here. My name is Marcus Seppala. Thank you very much for watching.